In this video, I'm letting these beautiful ladies show you all the wonderful places there are to see in the Koh Chong Archipelago in Thailand. Between the beautiful waterfalls, the great food, and the fun nightlife, Koh Chong is one of my favorite places to sail. So let us show you all the wonderful places in Koh Chong. Whenever we've sailed in Thailand, we've got our boats from charter-yacht.com, so check them out if you'd like to sail there as well. The Koh Chang Archipelago is a group of islands on the far southeast side of Thailand. The first island I'm taking you to is the namesake of the archipelago, Koh Chang. It's a great place to start your adventure and is known for its natural beauty. But if you're looking for a taste of the nightlife, it has that too. A great spot on the island is the Kai Bay Waterfall. It's accessible by motorbike and then a bit of a hike. The hike is completely worth it though as the waterfall is absolutely beautiful and you can have it all to yourself. If you're looking for a beautiful low-key spot to just kick back and relax, you can't go wrong with Koh Nam. There's an abandoned resort on the island that you can have all to yourself. You can swim in the warm waters, and if you're feeling a bit of luxury, you can kayak over to the main island where there's a nice resort and restaurant. It's a great spot to spend a lazy day and watch the beautiful sunset. A nice spot up a tidal river on Koh Chong is Klong Prao. There are lots of restaurants and Airbnbs right on the water. And you get around by taking water taxis on long tail boats. We dinghied up the river for a quick lunch right on the water. And then continued up river by dinghy to a waterfall. It's only a short hike from the end of the river up to the waterfall. The Klong Flu waterfall is beautiful. And you can even get a free pedicure from the fish. A great place to do some shopping or resupply is the overwater village of Bang Bao on Koh Chang. The pier stretches a long way over the water where the locals live and shop. There's even hotels and restaurants. The pier is home to a lot of fishing boats and tour boats, so it can get a bit busy. But it's interesting to see how people build homes and live out on the water. There's plenty of seafood to buy, sights to see, and shopping to do. From there, it's easy to catch a taxi. You can visit one of my favorite spots, Rasta View. It's a great place to spend the afternoon and grab a bite. Back on the pier is one of my favorite spots to dine in all of Thailand, Buddha View Restaurant. It's a beautiful setting and you dangle your feet right over the water as you have dinner. If you're looking for a lively night out and some fun, there's no other place on Koh Chong than Lonely Beach. The nightlife really comes alive here with live music and strange characters. Lonely Beach draws quite the crowd and the party lasts all night.
Jumping into the next island is the beautiful Kauai. It is absolutely a backpacker's paradise. Like many places in Thailand, it has a beautiful beach and water. But it's also home of the backpacker resort Kauai Paradise, where you can get a room on the beach for as little as $10. The owner is always there and a really nice guy, and there's plenty of staff to help. Get yourself a fresh coconut and just spend a couple days chilling by the water. The resort has a decent restaurant, but other than that, you need to make your own fun on the island. Next island on my list where there's a ton of things to do is Koh Kut, also known as Koh Kut. I'm starting you off there at a beautiful bay named Bang Bao. It's the perfect place to watch the sunset over the sparkling water. There are several bars and restaurants right on the beach that make for a great spot to spend the afternoon. And because the sun goes down doesn't mean the party stops, it's just as beautiful at night. A must stop in Kokut is to head up river to the Klong Chow Waterfall. It's a 10 minute dinghy ride up the river and then park your dinghy at the sign and hike in. It's a good idea to bring shoes. It's not a very long hike, but it can get a little technical at times. But ropes have been added to help you out. It's definitely worth the effort though, as the waterfall is spectacular. It's a fun place to spend the day playing in the water. A great place on Kokut to stay or have a meal is the Captain Hook Resort. Located at the mouth of a river, it's a beautiful spot. When the conditions are relatively calm, it's a great place to paddle board up the river. And the snorkeling is not bad either. You can dive down and check out the coral nursery that's been planted down below. After a day on the water, dinghy into the resort to cool off with a nice beverage. It's an idyllic spot and the food is pretty good too. It's a great spot to spend the evening. Another island to check out is Koh Rong, although it can get quite busy with tour boats. The reason it gets so busy is because the diving and snorkeling is quite spectacular. The 
Water clarity in the Gulf of Thailand may not be the greatest, but it makes up with it with the abundant amount of fish. This is part of the national park, so it's protected waters and plenty of fish. If you're a diver, this is one of the spots you should put on your list. I saved one of my favorite islands in the Koh Chong Archipelago for last, and that is Komok. It's generally my first stop when cruising around Koh Chong because it has beautiful beaches and this amazing abandoned resort to go explore. For just a few dollars, the local staff will let you wander around the resort. It sure would have been something had they ever completed it. The white sand beaches and landscape are absolutely beautiful. It's a great place to spend the day relaxing by the water or exploring. Water is stunning and warm. Load back up in the dinghy and head across the way to a very bizarre concrete sculpture garden. We actually can't show you a lot of the sculptures as they are a little bit too racy. After that, you can head to one of my favorite places to watch the sunset and have a cold drink, the Blue Pearl Bar. From there, it's just a short walk to one of my favorite restaurants, Seavanna. Thailand's always been a very special place to me and one of my favorite places to sail. Not to mention, it has the most beautiful sunsets I have ever seen. If you'd like to sail there, check out charter-yacht.com. Please do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. 